Hey YouTube, what's up? Thanks for tuning in. FCX24, the board, the unit of receiver, ESC and light controller. There are a ton, a ton, a ton of free plugs. And that's quite a mess. I checked it and I will explain in this video to you what all those plugs are for. Nearly all of those are light controls. It's quite awesome, but a little bit complicated. But first, let's talk about the plugs. The plugs used in this board are two, three or four pin, 1.25 millimeter JST, GH or Molex plugs. And if you should use a different servo and buy a servo with such plugs already or use adapters, please take care, take care, take care, be careful. Check the polarity first in those tiny plugs. Not all companies use the same polarity. If it's only the outer ones, signal and minus, which are changed, it's not so bad. It simply won't work. But there are some companies which do not use plus anode in the center. For example, I guess Valkyra was something like this. Years ago, they had for the Blade 130X micro helicopter 10 years ago, most of us used the Valkyra servos as tail servos and they had the plus on the outer side and if you simply plugged it to the board with the wrong polarity of plus and then switched it on the servo was broken and the board was broken so if you do something with the servos change use different ones or use adapters always first check the polarity if it's the same polarity as the plugs of the FCX24 board to have there is light and mine came I guess plugged with a three pin port to the board and so we can switch on off lights but there's a second port a two pin plug if you plug this to the board nothing will happen to the fog light ports it will not work however The LED does work, check it out. And it's the same LED as the lights we use with the three pin adapter. Don't really know what's that for. It doesn't work because the polarity is reversed. So if you would plug it to the fog light port and reverse the polarity, then it would work. But then you shouldn't plug both of those to the port. And they are connected in parallel. Maybe you can use adapters and connect more LEDs. I'm not sure what that is for. Here we can see this seems as if there would resistors be soldered to the LEDs. I was afraid that maybe it would have very high voltage and not a light controller and LEDs of different colors would be destroyed or you would or you would need uh, resistors for each LED, but no, there is a light controller in. I checked the uh, red LED and connected it and let it be lit up for half of an hour. It wasn't warm, it didn't burn. I don't really know what's that for. The voltage of the RC unit of the FCX24 is quite interesting because it's higher than in most other trucks. I show it to you. It has a 6 volt. You can connect it to any of the plugs. It has and then 6 volts come out of the FCX24 board while most units for example, SCX24, they do only have 5 volts out. So check it. I proved it. Come on. And you see, oh, no, can you see it? Exactly 6 volts out. So that's quite cool. Not 5 volts, more volt, more power for the servo. But now let's check the board. The board, Mini RC did already find out that this board 
can connect and bind to the new SCX24 radios and vice versa. The radio to the SCX24, the new ones, not the old ones. And it does not bind to Flysky or whatever. That's quite interesting because somewhere here is written it's ANT protocol. Where is it? Anyway, it does not work. Ah, here, 2.4 GHz protocol ANT. I tried it with my Flysky ANT radio. Doesn't work. Mini SE did also test it. And the PC is only 1 amp. That's written here. Oh, it's even written here. 6 volt, 1 amps. Wouldn't even have had to test it. And here is the light controller explained. Or the light controller, the whole boarding explained. But that's quite puzzling. I copied it. I couldn't find a PDF. And checked all the pins. What they are for. And I'll show this to you now. So here you can see the board. And the anodes, the plus, the red ones. All the anodes are connected and all LED control ports share common plus, common red, common anodes. Here in the center are the three servo plugs or plugs for channel 1, 3 and 4. Channel 1 is the steering servo, channel 3 the shifting servo. There is no channel 2 out so you can't connect a different ESC to the board and channel 4 is free. You can connect a further servo or a light switch or a winch or whatever. And here you can see the polarity plus anode center minus cathode on the outer side and the signal port on the inner side. But here on those 2, 3, 3 and 4 pin plugs there is no anode. Each anode is a signal port for LEDs and all those share in common the red, the plus. Here you can see this in more detail. The first port is for fog light, second port for fog light and the third plug does have three pins. One, the upper one, is the common anode, the common plus. And then there are two different signal ports, the center one for the headlight and the lower one for the blinker left. It's labeled as blinker or turning light right, but that's wrong. It's the turning light left. And so you have to connect the red, the plus to both of those in parallel. I will show this to you. The next port is the same, again a headlight in the center, the common plus and the lower pin is for the blinker, right, for the right turning light, that's again wrong labeled, it's not left, it's the right. Then we have the three servo ports and then we have here another three pin plug, lower port common red, common plus, the center port is for the left turning light, wrong labeled, they labeled it right, and the upper port is for the right turning light, again wrong labeled, they labeled it left. And here we have even a four pin plug with one common red, which has to connect to all three LEDs that are connected here, and we have the center port for the reverse light, the other center port for the brake light and the upper port is for the tail light. So you see that's quite puzzling and preparing LEDs and adapters and plugs for using all the lights. It's quite a mess and I made quick and dirty adapters for all those plugs and for all LED lights so that I can show you how the light controller works. So we have the three pin plugs here you see we have one red and two signals this one is for the turning lights and here red Y cable red goes to both LEDs I have a second one that's the main beam white and the another turning light blinker and again 
one red, one anode, one plus, two signals, and the Y in the plus goes to each of those. We have this two times here the second time, and then we have this four pin plug for the brake lights and whatever, and you see one red only, then Y, and goes to three different LEDs, and we have the fog lights, I made them blue, that's only quick and dirty for demonstration purposes, of course you should make it better and with better wire, and of course not only plug this stuff, but solder it, but I want to show you this quite awesome light controller. But first let's check the servo, I show you that it's easy to connect the servo. Channel 1 is steering servo and channel 3 is the shifting servo. Mini SC also found that there are two different types of receivers. One, probably the older one with a three position switch here. So the servo should have three positions, the shifting servo, unfortunately mine, not. You see, no sound, sound, no sound, sound. So only two positions in my receiver unit. And now I show you how you can make adapters. I don't know if you can buy them or you can. It's much better if you want to use <laughs> different server to crimp or solder. But only for demonstration purposes, I plug this to channel 4 now. And of course, I check the polarity. That's super, super important. And this servo is now controlled by channel 4. And channel 4 is short press is for the light controller, this button, and long press, 2 seconds. So only two positions. You could also use it for a further light switch or for a winch controller, whatever. And now I will connect all those LEDs to show the light controller to you. So what a mess. You see I connected the two fog lights. I use blue lights here. Those are only one LED on a plug. Then we have the two main beams, including turning lights, left and right. And we have a further three pin plug here, which are for turning lights left and right. And we have the awesome four pin plug here with three LEDs. Reverse light, I made green, and then we have a, I don't know, real light. You will see it works quite strange, and we have a break and normal real light. And now let's check how this works, but it's better to turn off the light, I guess. So, dark. Let's switch it off. Switch it on. Hope you can see the lights. All LEDs light up for a short moment. Then everything's off. Channel 4, the push button controls with short presses the lights. Long press is the servo. But nothing happens with the lights. And if lights are off, only two lights work or two ports. Of course, you can connect more LEDs in parallel. And this is the brake light. You see it here. And the reverse light. It's here in green. But you have to go reverse to light it up and the brake light. But to make the brake light work nicely, you shouldn't be in crawler mode, only forward reverse here. So if the first pin, I lost the LED again, is up and you are in crawler mode, then you see that's very short. If you want your light controller, go to forward brake reverse mode and then you have nice brake lights and you go in reverse, you have reverse lights and then one push, the main beams are on but not 100% and the reverse lights are on also and now the turning lights work. The turning lights do not work if the lights are off, what's quite nice. So you see here the two right ones and 
one left one, the second left one. Then a third short press, the main beams go on 100%, so a little bit lighter, or brighter, not lighter now. There is no brake light function anymore. It's it's very, very... Yeah, there's a little bit of brake light function, but the normal red rear light is nearly as bright as the brake light. I don't know if you can see it. Now it's brake light. Now it's brake light a little bit brighter, but not a lot. And then we have the fourth push, and then those fog lights are on, and we have hazard lights. So all four turning lights blink, hazard lights and fog lights. And we have then this second red, I did it red, I don't know which color it should be, reverse light on too. And the fifth click, then we have only those fog lights and this Probably that's a fog light too. You should make it white, probably, in reverse. So a reverse fog light. And sixth push, everything off. So no push. You see no turning lights work. The only thing that works are the brake light and the re reverse light. Brake light, one push, main beams on not 100 percent and turning lights work second push main beams 100 percent turning lights work too and if the lights are on this red rear light and brake light is on and brake light function is only very weak anymore and fourth push we have hazard lights plus those fog lights and this rear fog light which i made red here and so all lights are on now but the reverse light in green and this does not work at this stadium and the fifth push we have only the two so-called fog lights and this reverse fog light and now the reverse green light does work again Okay, zero, the green reverse light does work. One push, it does work. Second push, it does work. Now with the hazard lights, oh, it still works. Okay, it works in every position. So, quite sophisticated, quite a lot of options, quite cool. So guys, that's it for this video. If you totally want to light up your cool FCX24, then two fog lights. One, one is on the floor. Where's the second fog light? Here. You have to prepare. Then you have to prepare three plugs with three wires. Red to both LEDs. The first one the second one and the th third one for the two turning lights and even some with three LEDs, four pins. That's quite cool if you want to do it. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope to see you in the next video. I'll be 